Hello everybody, it's Susie from Ruby Rose Reborns. And as you can see, I'm here with my beautiful Quinlan, my latest addition to my nursery. And you saw the box opening I did earlier, a few days ago, which was a little bit hurried and a little crazy because I ran home from lunch. I was so excited to do it. So I have a chance now to change her, to put her in a new outfit. Um, her first change and to tell you her name and do a little bit of a details video. So this is of course um, Quinlan. I'm going to lift her up so you can all see her hair good this time. I'm, I'm just really amazed at how beautiful her hair is. It looks like one little stroke. I mean honestly and then she has the little side little side fuzzies and all of that and of course you know it's very difficult to show on a video but and then her eyebrows extend out and that little hairiness that newborns have um, across her her cheek there and her temple and then here again is her little hairs there. And they're different, you know, than over here a little bit. You know, how a baby would be. She has the same hair. She has these beautiful eyebrows. And she's just painted gorgeous. As an artist, I'm going to say, she just, oh my goodness. Perfect painting here of the coloring and the veining and her cheeks and they have little capillaries in them and her lips I'm so pleased with this girl I I just can't even hardly say it um, but something is there's a little eye a little looks like a little bit of an eyelash is out there that I'm gonna cut back there we go okay so, here she is, and of course, like everybody has been saying, um, she is a she is a dream baby. Of course, she is. If she really is one that I never thought that I was going to be able to get, um, she is she is by Laura Lee Eagles, and I love this outfit she came in, and it buttons set of snaps and I think she is probably the smallest of Laura Lee Eagles additions. She's an addition of <clears throat> 800 whereas Esme I believe was an addition of 1500 and so an 800 addition that's that's very small and so she when I <laughs> She sold out so quick. I mean, it wasn't even funny. I think like within five minutes, five, ten minutes when she came out, she was sold out. Kind of like how Everly was too. And this is her outfit. And I'm going to see now what it is. It looks like it was made. Well, I'm not quite sure. It's Albert. Albert is the is the brand on this, so I'll have to look for that for more because this is a darling. It says a knit on top with the ribbons and then a cotton seersucker type on the bottom. Okay, and oh my goodness, this is the first time I've even really undressed her. Oh wow, she, I love these little side snap, um, cute little tees. And here she is in her little body. She's weighted perfectly. And I and her painting is gorgeous on her arms and her hands. You know, they have uh the the bluing and the mottling and all these things that really make her look real. She was done so well. And I have to tell you that okay. First of all, oh, before I do that, oh, I don't know if you can see her legs. They're gorgeous. They like have the little red 
in here that that babies have you know they get inside their legs they have a little bit of a red rash anyway um okay so she sold out the quinlan scope sold out so fast and that was back in what i believe to be 2011 because uh esme came out 2012 i know and um, I missed her. I didn't get on the, um, I didn't get her, because when I went in to get her, her skull, her kit, it was all sold out. And I was just so naive. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I wasn't thinking she'd sell out that fast. Anyway, so I was very disappointed, and that's why I tried so hard to get Esme, and I ended up missing Esme, too. So... Um, I, and as you know from my past videos, all that I went through to get Esme, trading kits, getting the kit, and then selling the doll, and then getting the kit back and making one for myself. Well, that wasn't even an option for this girl. She was so popular, and every, but the thing is, is everybody just hung on to her. You know, they they didn't, you know, they weren't releasing the kits to buy and all of that. And so I just kind of gave up trying. And then I would see one every once in a while, you know, come up on eBay, just the blank kit. And it was so expensive. And then, so I kind of just gave up. Well, you know what? That's been six years, six, seven years. Um, and now people seem to be letting go of their kids or making their kids and, and selling them and people are able to find them here and there. And it all kind of started when I saw that Wendy from Weeby Dolls, oh, her feet are just precious. Wendy from Weeby Dolls, um, she went someplace pretty close by where she lives, I think, um, she, she was able to get a Quinlan. And uh, it wasn't maybe all to her liking, but she ended up rooting the hair and doing a few things. And so, anyway, I was so jealous. I thought, oh, my goodness gracious, she got a Quinlan. How lucky is that? I mean, I just, that was just unbelievable. And then um, um, I still didn't see any. And then Katie... Uh, from My Little World, she was able to get one from her artist, uh, Natalia, in Russia, who had the kit. So it was a brand new baby for her. So that worked out really great. And then a couple of weeks ago, I was on Doll Fam, which I'm on a lot. And um, I saw this Quinlan for sale. And I went, are you kidding me? So I went in and I checked her out and she was cute. She had rooted blonde hair. Her painting was kind of plain, but it was it was cute enough and I thought, you know, I'm her hair was nice. I thought if I got her, you know, I could always add a little coloring to her cheeks and so um and she wasn't asking uh $3,000 like some people were. She it was very reasonable. And I contacted her and said, yes, I'll buy her right now, today. And um, I didn't hear back from her. And I waited a day. I waited two days. I did not hear back from her. And I was so disappointed. And then I got looking on uh, Doll Fan again. And just a few ads down, I saw this one that said, um, Quinlan, if anybody's interested, please let me know. So I looked at that, and she said, I have this beautiful Quinlan that was made for me three months ago, brand new. And she was made by Janelle Marie at Blessed Babies Nursery. I think that's it. I'll leave the link in my description bar. And um, I knew Janelle, and I thought, oh, she must be beautiful. And she says she has painted hair, not rooted hair. If anybody's interested, I'll send pictures. I'm not posting them now. She was having problems with her photo book. Well, people were writing back and saying, um, oh, yeah, I'll be interested if she has rooted hair. Well, you know, how much of this is I don't read? You know, I clearly saw that she had painted hair. 
And even the um, even Aaron, who was selling her, said, "No, she has painted hair." And people would still write in and said, "Yes, I would love to see her if she has rooted hair." And I thought, "What are they doing?" And so then she. Um, <laughs> I wrote her and said, no, I would love to see her. I don't care if she has um, painted hair or not. And, uh, I mean, I said, I'm a fan of painted hair. And I really am if it's done well. It has to be done well. And, like, I love Chris, I love Mandy Hannon's painting. And so she said, yeah, I'll send you some pictures. I'm so glad, everybody, that she didn't post pictures right away because I'm telling you, if she had posted pictures right away, this I wouldn't have this little girl right now. Somebody would have seen her and said, oh, yes. So I contacted Katie, and Katie got online, and, and so then Aaron sent me the pictures, and Katie was there, and... Um, I forwarded them to Katie, and she said, get that doll. She says, she's so much better than the other one. And so, I mean, and yeah, she was. And and, and Aaron takes okay pictures, but I still couldn't really appreciate how beautiful she was until she got here. And um, so, that was it. I ended up buying her, and I am so thrilled that I did because I did get her. And she, her, her um, number, she's um, like 756. Now, let me see. I'm going to see for sure. She's 789 out of 800. So, wow. <laughs> she was, you know, right there at the bottom. So... You know, I mean, at the end of the the kit release. So, and she's, she, Aaron had had her made for her three months ago, and Aaron has a lot of dolls, and she's going to a doll show, and she decided she was going to let go of this little girl. And I am so glad she did, because I now have a Quinlan. And, uh... Anyway, so that's the story of this little girl, how she came to be in my nursery, that I did not think I was going to ever get. And it just, it just happened. I didn't think I was ever going to get an Esme either. And that, you know, happened. Anyway, so I have her in this darling little Babadoo um, sleeveless onesie with the spaghetti straps to go under her outfit and I put her in that cloth diaper and it is pretty squishy. These, this cloth diaper you saw me put on is not um, the one I would want to. Unless, and in my last video I said as I was putting the cloth, my diaper back on to Camille, I said, oh yes, and these are um, one size fits all. No, that is not true. What I was meaning to say was one size fits all doesn't work that well for newborns. They have newborn snap cloth, cloth diapers like Camille has on that fit fit like a glove. They're wonderful. They don't have all these snaps that you saw me um, snapping up here for this little girl. I had to go down a row um, to make it smaller. And I don't like how this one fits as much, but I'd rather have a cloth diaper on her than a paper one. So for now, we're doing that, and I've been watching my eBay seller that sells those newborns um, to get some more. And uh, she, she doesn't have any in her stock right now, and it's making me upset because I can't find any to replace them. You know, that are $20, and I don't want to spend $20 on this diaper. So this is going to work for right now. So we're going to put this little girl in another Babadoo. We're going to put her in this long sleeve onesie that has the pink collar there or the collar with the little pink um, embroidery around it and around the cuffs. And I feel very comfortable doing this 
today because it just is not hot here. And that, we've had been, ble oh my goodness, first off, July was the worst July we've had on record. It was so hot. And as you know, we had all those horrible fires, which all seem to be under control right now. Um, the two in Southern California are completely out. The one up in um, Northern California is not completely out yet, so, but it is contained. Thank goodness, but, it, you know, we were having 110 um, degree or Fahrenheit weather for, oh, a long time. It was, I think, the whole month it was over 100. And in August, and now it's the 25th, 26th of August today, you know, we have, we, I don't know if we've had one day that's been over 100. Oh my gosh, this girl is just gorgeous in this. Um, so it's cooling off, and a, just about an hour ago I checked, and it was 89 degrees. Well, you know, maybe 89 sounds hot to you guys, but we don't have humidity right now. So it, it was just perfect. And my air just went on um, about 30 minutes ago. So, and this is, it's in the evening. So we've been very lucky. And I just have to show you how gorgeous she looks in this Babadoo onesie. Oh my goodness, she is just so cute. Oh, so anyway, the weather is cooling off, so I had a long sleeve one, and I'm had it for a while, so now I'm going to do this, and now I'm going to put this little dress that is Koala Baby Boutique dress that Katie sent me last year for my birthday, and I never put it on anybody. I don't think I had one small enough at that time because I'd already sold Sophia. So we're going to put it on this little girl. I think this will look darling. We'll see. I had a, a vision of this in my brain. You know how you are. And I've been, it's been a lot of fun for me the last few days. I have to confess, my husband is, is in Seattle visiting my son and my grandchildren up there and I'm home taking care of the new puppies which I'll be doing a video and I am going to be posting um, to a video of the last babies that went home last week that will be on today and so I have had a lot of fun on my own I took a couple of days off of work and okay it's all bunched up here but it does look really cute it's a cute little outfit and I've been cleaning and I went shopping I went to the outlets and bought more clothes at Carter's because they were half off and Gymboree had a fantastic sale so I went there and just got a couple of things there but I got I ended up getting a, quite a few things at Carter's. They had, um, it was, the collection was wonderful this time. I hadn't been really pleased with it the last couple of times I'd been there. So this, but they just got new inventory, and I had a lot of fun doing that. Yesterday, I cleaned and made a video on, I made a video on Friday, and now I'm making a video tonight. And... And then tomorrow I'll have off too and I'll be working, finishing up my custom. Or maybe doing some more videos, I don't know. But I mean, I'll be doing both probably. Anyway, so we've got some cute little white socks that have pink bows on the side. And I will say, I know rooted hair is wonderful too, and it is. Um, but me, who does not paint hair is always in awe of the people that do it that do a good job that's what I'm saying 
You know, I mean, you can certainly tell when a beginner has painted hair. And that's fine. That's great. Their babies are sold appropriately. But this is really advanced painted hair, and I love it. And what's wonderful about it is you don't have to worry about combing it, but that the babies look so cute with headbands. And she certainly does not disappoint. And here's her little pacifier. That just goes right in, a modified pacifier. And if I can, you know, not have magnets, I am a happy camper. Well, there she is, and I think it's time to reveal her name. Okay, this has just been coming and coming and coming. I can't really, I don't know, but her name now, and I hope it doesn't change, but I love it. I think she looks like it, is Imogen. I-M-O-G-E-N. I really do like that name. And um, that is what I've chosen to name her. First, it was going to be Caroline, but I thought, no, we're gonna, I wanted to do something really different. So her name is Imogen, and I don't think she has a middle name right now, but there she is, and I, her mommy is very happy. Oh. Me, I am very grateful, very grateful for all my dolls. I'm grateful for my Laura Lee Eagle dolls that I was able to, to get. And there she is, ladies. I'm going to just zoom in on her little face. Let's see if we can't get there. It's all nice and focused. I hope the light's good. Alrighty, I will be back maybe even tomorrow with another video, um, but in the next few days. So thank you for bearing with me, and Imogen and I say good night, and thank you for all your comments and for your support.